Hey YouTube, if you want to find out how to make this outfit, please stay tuned for this tutorial. Early in the morning and I have a tutorial for you. I want to make a crop top and a matching skirt. I got this idea because I made my god sister a top and I'm like, oh, it looks so cute. I want one for myself with a skirt. I'm talking kind of low because I have my nieces over and it's early, early in the morning. I don't want to wake them up. But um, what I did was I made a pattern from a shirt that I had and um, I used this paper. So this is the top part and this is the pattern for the sleeve, as you can see. So if you have a t-shirt that you like, a shirt that fits you well, you can get it, use it as a pattern if you know that you want to make it over again. And you can get this paper from the shipping department in any store, Target or whatever. It shouldn't be more than $3 for the roll. And um, use this, um, you know, as paper for your pattern. And that way, if you want to make it again, you can make it over and over. You don't have to, um, you know, start from scratch each time. So, I'm going to use a shortcut that I learned and to help save some more fabric. So, I'm going to take this and... Um, fold it. Now, the fold of my fabric is on this side, so I'm going to place, see this is folded, I'm going to place it on the fold, that way I only have to cut it out like this, and I'll do that twice for my front and back, so I'll show you that right, right now. Okay, so you're going to use this and you're going to do this again two times so that you can have two pieces. I'll do that and be right back. Okay, YouTube, so now I'm going to cut out my sleeve and I'm going to cut it out on the fold. I already have the pattern that I made. So I'm going to put this on the fold and you can write a note to yourself on your pattern where you need to place it on the fold so that you'll remember and that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to place this on the fold and I'm going to cut that out and if you want two sleeves you cut out two. In some patterns you may be making maybe you're going to have one sleeve on one side and you won't have a sleeve on the other side so then you will only need one sleeve probably make some other outfits that have like one sleeve on one side and no sleeve on the other. So you just do this two times really, really simple. Take that. Just do it twice. I want two sleeves on this shirt, so it's uh bright and early like, it woke up like six something you can hear the birds chirping and you can hear my voice sounds like it has that just woke up in the morning sound okay so you have your sleeves okay so I'm going to show you how to do the skirt now what you're going to do is get a skirt that fits you well I have all this fabric on the top left over, so I have this skirt right here, and I love it. I just got it from Forever 21, bought one for my god sister too for her birthday. I hope she likes it. If you're watching, Jahan, I hope you enjoy your skirt. I have the same one. Let me open up some. I just like the shape of this. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just in case. Okay, and 
and then just get that top part to see where I'm cutting because I see the lines. It's going to be such a cute outfit. There we go. So we have the skirt part. Don't need that. So now what we're gonna do is where's my pin? Okay, so for the skirt, we're gonna take it, place pins on the side, pin it together so that way you have all your pieces. And if you wanted to go ahead and make a dress. It would be the same thing if you want to connect the top to the bottom. Sometimes you start out doing something and then you realize that you may want to do something else and that's perfectly fine. So. Okay, so that's your skirt that's pinned. And I'm gonna put that aside and then you just pin. You take, these are the top parts that we took earlier. See, that's the pattern that I'm using. You're going to put them right sides together, actually. And then you're just going to pin the sides. I'll show you right now. Right sides together because we're always sewing inside out. You're going to pin down the sides and pin the shoulder part. I'll show you quickly. Okay, so after you pin down these sides, right? Like I'm almost done doing. You're going to take this to your sewing machine. You're going to, um, since this is stretchy, you could do it on a zigzag. That's what I usually do so that it could continue to be stretchy. You don't have to worry about threads popping and things like that. You're going to need elastic for your skirt unless you do it with a waistband. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but when I do figure it out, I'll come back. So then you're going to take this to your sewing machine. You're going to stitch where you place the pins on the shoulder. Don't stitch the armhole. Leave that open. Start from under the armhole down, down, and you're going to do the same thing to your skirt. Take it to your sewing machine, and you're going to stitch down where you place pins. I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, YouTube, so I am done sewing down my shirt, and I already did all my hems on my top and my bottom. And if you want to learn how to do hems, you can look at some of my other videos. But basically, just to quickly refresh, you're going to fold it over one time, about a half an inch, and fold it over another time, a half an inch. You're going to place pins, and then I did it on a zigzag stitch all the way around. That's the same thing you're going to do to your neckline. You can fold it a little shorter, maybe about a quarter of an inch, and then another quarter of an inch. Pin it around, and then you'll stitch it all around on a zigzag since we're working with stretchy material. So now I'm going to show you how I put in my sleeve. I already put in one, but I saved the other side to show you how you're going to insert that. So your shirt is going to be inside out, and your sleeve, look at that, so cute, is going to be right sides out. We're going to take the sleeve and put it in this way right sides out inside what you're first going to do is match up you see the seams here and the seam on the sleeve because you want it to be even so after you do that you match up that seam right the seam on your shirt and the seam right here on the sleeve it's hard to tell because this is black and white and it's Whatever. Then you'll just start pinning. So the first thing you match up those seams and you place a pin right there. Then you'll work your way around through the whole sleeve, pl pl placing pins all the way around until you're done. And um, you just make sure 
that the top part to where the shoulder is is lined up just the same way and that's it you go all the way around I'm not gonna do that right now but I'm just giving you an idea of how to insert your skirt. okay guys my skirt part is done what I did was you have to make sure you, after you sew down the sides and whatever have you make sure you hem the bottom of your skirt excuse me and then you can add your elastic you you um and I have other videos where you just take the elastic you stitch it onto the top and then um you do a zigzag all the way around there's two ways to do it but I'll show you you can refer to some of my other videos but I just wanted to show you that I inserted my elastic and that's all done so I'm gonna come back and show you how I styled it I really really like this top and skirt because the top has sleeves normally my tops don't have sleeves or I don't attach them separately I kind of like trace the outline and then it has sleeves but they're not attached separately so it's such a cute little outfit I cannot wait to wear it look at that it's gonna be so cute with the skirt and I'll come back and show you how I styled it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my fashion channel, Charisma For You Fashion. My main channel, Charisma For You. Thanks to those who have made purchases. And inbox, inbox me if you want a custom order. And um, Etsy shop is coming soon. So take care.